10 facts about Islam you might didn't know before. Number 10. Allah is not an exclusive God. A lot of people through around the world, Allah because it's so closely linked with the idea of Islam. Here's the thing though. The word Allah literally just means God in Arabic. Our holy book, the Quran, was revealed to the angel Gabriel in Arabic. So we tend to use Arabic words even if you don't speak Arabic. In fact, even Christians in the Middle East use the word Allah to mean God. If you read a translation of the Quran, you might see God, Lord or Allah. It's all the same. Islam stands for peace. The Arabic word Islam means peace, security and surrender. The word Muslim means actually one who peacefully and voluntarily surrenders to God, Allah. Anyone from any race or any religion could actually be called Muslim. In other words, Muslim does not refer to a particular race. Things have been invented by Muslims. Many great inventions were made by Arabians, for example, the Arabic numeral system, algebra or trigonometry. Father, the first hospital for mental illness was funded in Egypt by Ahmed ibn Tulun. Az Zahrawi was known as the father of surgery. He perfected surgical tools and methods that are still used nowadays. The process of distillation was also developed by an Arabian. And in 1979, Abdus Salam won the Nobel Prize for Physics for his work on the unification of the electromagnetics and weak forces. And did you know that the first aviator who attempted to create a flying machine was Jabir ibn Hayyan in 852? Obviously, it didn't work, but still amazing. A Muslim must believe in Jesus. Muslims very much believe and revere Jesus as a prophet of God. In fact, Jesus is mentioned more times in Islamic scripture than Muhammad. Mary, the mother of Jesus, is the only woman mentioned by name in the Quran, and the one of the chapter of the Quran is titled Maryam, which is Mary. Where things change is that we do not believe Jesus had an earthly father. We also do not believe in the Christian story of Jesus' crucifixion, nor do we believe in the concept of the Trinity. Muslims believe in the Tawheed, which is monotheism. The concept of Tawheed in Islamic faith is La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, which means there is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is his messenger. The first scientist. It is believed that the world's first scientist was a Muslim man and scholar called Ibn al Haytham. He was born in 965 after Christ. People claim he was the first scientist in the world because he introduced the first scientist method. Ibn al Haytham is also said to be the world's first physicist. Thanks to him, something called celestial mechanics was invented that helped Newton, Kepler, Galileo, Copernicus, and other famous scientists develop their theories. The first mosque in the United States of America. The first mosque to have ever been erected in the United States is located in Cedar Rapids, and its name is the Mother Mosque of America. The Mother Mosque of America saw its opening in 1934. Today, 83 years after it was built, the Mother Mosque of America still exists and it hasn't changed a bit. However, the Mother Mosque of America today doesn't serve as a mosque but as an Islamic cultural center. The Discovery of America Although all of us were taught at school that Columbus discovered America, that might not be true according to respectable historians. It is believed that the Muslims from West Africa were the first people to have discovered America. What's even more interesting than that is the fact that Columbus himself made all of his historical journeys heavily relying on maps that were drawn by a Muslim scholar from the 12th century called Al-Idrisi. Cats in Islam Did you know that cats are highly appreciated in Islam and that they are considered revered animals? That's because the progenitor of Islam, Muhammad وسلم, peace be upon him, loved these animals. Islam admires cats for their cleanliness and their elegant behavior. 
Cats are even allowed to enter mosques because they are clean. However, dogs aren't allowed to enter mosques because they don't clean themselves like cats. Many people also believe that a cat's innate writing reflex was a gift to them from Muhammad wasallam. Peace be upon him. Number 2. The second largest religion in the world. Did you know that Islam has 1.6 billion worshippers which make it the second largest religion in the world? And Indonesia is the biggest Muslim country. And do you know what the largest religion in the world is? The answer is obvious, Christianity. However, scientists believe that Islam will become the largest religion in the world by the year 2050. Some scientists, however, claim that by the year 2050, the number of Christians and Muslims will be the same. Number 1. Terrorism in Islam Today, millions of people who don't understand Islam believe that Islam advocates terrorism through jihad, which is believed to be the holy war. However, nowhere in Quran can find the mention of holy war and the need to kill innocent people for Allah's pleasure and love. Those terrorists who commit atrocities in the name of Allah are Muslims after all. They are corrupt-hearted people, and Allah will punish them for their horrible acts. Remember, a Muslim can't be a person who kills innocent people. That's why people should stop connecting terrorism with Islam.